High Fiber Carbs for Diabetics 10 Choices to Improve Blood Sugar Control Diabetes is a serious condition that affects millions of people worldwide, and managing blood sugar levels is crucial for those living with the disease. One way to do this is by choosing carbs that are high in fiber. Fiber is a type of carbohydrate that the body cannot digest, which means it doesn't raise blood sugar levels. Instead, it helps to slow the absorption of other carbs and can also help to reduce the risk of heart disease and other chronic conditions. So, without further ado, let's get into our list of the top 10 higher fiber carbs for diabetes. Number 10. Whole Grains Whole grains such as quinoa, brown rice, and whole wheat bread are great sources of fiber which can help to keep blood sugar levels stable for people with diabetes. Quinoa is a good choice as it has a low glycemic index, is high in fiber and protein. Brown rice is also a good option as it has a low glycemic index, is a good source of fiber, vitamins, and minerals. Whole wheat bread is a better option than white bread as it is made from whole grains and has a lower glycemic index. Whole grains also provide other health benefits, such as reducing the risk of heart disease and certain types of cancer, and they also aid in weight management. However, not all products labeled as whole wheat or whole grain are truly made from whole grains. It's important to read the ingredient list and look for products that list a whole grain as the first ingredient. In summary, including whole grains in your diet can help to manage blood sugar levels, provide important nutrients, and offer many other health benefits. Consult with a healthcare provider to help you incorporate these foods into your diet in a way that works for you. Number 9. Legumes Legumes such as beans, lentils, and chickpeas are an excellent choice for people with diabetes as they are high in fiber and also a good source of protein. They are low on the glycemic index, which means they are less likely to cause a spike in blood sugar levels. Beans can be enjoyed in a variety of ways, such as in soups, salads, chili, or as a side dish, and can be a great meat alternative for vegetarians and vegans. They are also a great source of complex carbohydrates and are rich in minerals like iron, magnesium, and potassium. Lentils are another great legume option for people with diabetes. They are high in fiber and protein and also low on the glycemic index. They can be enjoyed in soups, stews, curries, or as a side dish, and can also be used as a substitute for meat in dishes. Chickpeas are a great source of fiber and protein, low in calories and low on the glycemic index. They can be enjoyed in salads, soups, stews, or as a base for hummus. Legumes also contain other important nutrients, such as iron, zinc, and B vitamins, and have been linked to a reduced risk of heart disease, obesity, and certain types of cancer. They are also relatively low in cost and can be a great source of plant-based protein for vegetarians and vegans. They can be a great addition to any meal to increase the fiber and protein content, while also keeping the blood sugar in check. It's important to consult with a healthcare provider or dietitian before making any major changes to your diet. Number 8. Fruits Fruits can be a great addition to the diet of people with diabetes, as long as they are chosen carefully. Berries, apples, and pears are great options that are high in fiber and low in sugar, making them ideal for managing blood sugar levels. Berries, such as strawberries, blueberries, and raspberries, are high in fiber and antioxidants, and low in sugar. They can be enjoyed on their own, added to oatmeal or yogurt, or used as a topping for desserts. Apples are also a great option, they are high in fiber, low in sugar, and contain antioxidants. Pears are also a great option for people with diabetes, they are high in fiber and relatively low in sugar. These fruits also contain other important nutrients, such as vitamin C and potassium, and have been linked to a reduced risk of heart disease and certain types of cancer. It's important to note that while these fruits are relatively low in sugar, they still contain natural sugars. It's important to monitor portion sizes and overall sugar intake. Also, when consuming fruit, it's recommended to eat them whole rather than juicing to get the most fiber benefits. These fruits can be a great addition to any meal to increase the fiber content while also keeping the sugar intake low. It's important to consult with a healthcare provider or dietitian before making any major changes to your diet. Number 7. Vegetables Vegetables are an essential part of any diet, especially for people with diabetes. Vegetables such as broccoli, spinach, and Brussels sprouts are all high in fiber and packed with important nutrients. Broccoli is high in fiber and contains important nutrients such as vitamin C, vitamin K, and potassium. Spinach is high in fiber 
and contains important nutrients such as vitamin K, vitamin A, and folin. Brussels sprouts are also high in fiber and contain important nutrients such as vitamin K, vitamin C, and potassium. These vegetables also contain other important nutrients such as antioxidants and phytochemicals that have been linked to a reduced risk of heart disease and certain types of cancer. Eating a diet rich in vegetables has been shown to improve blood sugar control, reduce inflammation, and improve overall health. However, it's important to note that these vegetables can still affect blood sugar levels when consumed in large amounts. It's important to monitor portion sizes and to consult with a healthcare provider or dietitian before making any major changes to your diet. In summary, vegetables such as broccoli, spinach, and Brussels sprouts can be a great addition to the diet for people with diabetes. They're high in fiber, packed with important nutrients, and can help improve blood sugar control and overall health. Number 6. Nuts and Seeds Nuts and seeds are a great addition to the diet of people with diabetes as they are high in fiber and can be added to a variety of dishes. They are relatively low in carbohydrates, making them a great option for managing blood sugar levels. Almonds are high in fiber and contain important nutrients such as vitamin E and magnesium. Chia seeds are high in fiber and contain important nutrients such as omega-3 fatty acids and antioxidants. Flax seeds are also high in fiber and contain important nutrients such as omega-3 fatty acids and lignans. These nuts and seeds can be added to oatmeal, yogurt, or smoothies, or used as a thickener in recipes such as puddings and jams. However, it's important to note that these nuts and seeds are high in calories, and it's important to monitor portion sizes and overall calorie intake. It's also important to consult with a healthcare provider or dietitian before making any major changes to your diet. Number 5. Oats Oats are a great source of fiber and can be enjoyed in a variety of ways, such as oatmeal or as an ingredient in baked goods. They are also relatively low in carbohydrates, making them a great option for managing blood sugar levels. Oats contain a type of soluble fiber called beta-glucan, which has been shown to help lower cholesterol levels and improve blood sugar control. They also provide important nutrients such as magnesium, potassium, and zinc. Oatmeal is a popular breakfast option. It can be enjoyed plain or sweetened with a natural sweetener such as honey or maple syrup, and topped with fruits and nuts to add more fiber and nutrients. Oats can also be used as a substitute for flour in baking recipes, making them a great option for those with diabetes who are watching their carbohydrate intake. Overall, oats are a great addition to the diet for people with diabetes as they are high in fiber and relatively low in carbohydrates. They can be enjoyed in a variety of ways and provide important nutrients and health benefits. It's important to consult with a healthcare provider or dietitian before making any major changes to your diet. Number 4. Popcorn Popcorn is a low-calorie, high-fiber snack that can help to curb cravings. It is made from whole grains and is a great option for those with diabetes as it is relatively low in carbohydrates and high in fiber. Popcorn is also low in fat and calories making it a great option for those trying to manage their weight. It can be enjoyed as a snack on its own or seasoned with herbs and spices for added flavor. It's important to note that popcorn is a whole grain, however, when it's processed, coated with butter or other high-fat ingredients, it loses some of its beneficial properties. Therefore, it's recommended to opt for plain popcorn or to season it with herbs and spices for added flavor. Popcorn is also a great option for people with diabetes who are looking for a low-calorie, high-fiber snack that can help to curb cravings. Overall, popcorn is a great addition to the diet for people with diabetes as it is relatively low in carbohydrates and high in fiber. It's a great low-calorie snack option that can help to curb cravings and keep blood sugar levels in check. It's important to consult with a healthcare provider or dietitian before making any major changes to your diet. Number 3. Sweet Potatoes Sweet potatoes are a great option for people with diabetes as they are high in fiber and also a good source of vitamin A. They are relatively low on the glycemic index, meaning they are less likely to cause a spike in blood sugar levels. Sweet potatoes can be enjoyed in a variety of ways such as roasted, mashed, or as fries. They can also be added to soups, stews, and curries. They are also a good source of complex carbohydrates and rich in minerals such as potassium and manganese. Sweet potatoes are also high in antioxidants and anti-inflammatory compounds, which may help to reduce the risk of chronic diseases such as heart disease and cancer. They also contain a good amount of vitamin A, 
which is important for maintaining healthy vision and skin. It's important to note that, while sweet potatoes are relatively low in calories and high in fiber, they can still affect blood sugar levels when consumed in large amounts. It's important to monitor portion sizes and to consult with a healthcare provider or dietitian before making any major changes to your diet. Overall, sweet potatoes can be a great addition to the diet for people with diabetes as they are high in fiber, relatively low on the glycemic index, and a good source of vitamin A and other nutrients. They can be enjoyed in a variety of ways and can help to keep blood sugar levels in check. Before coming to number 2 on this list, I just wanted to remind you to like and subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to press the bell to receive the earliest notification of new videos. Thanks for your support. Number 2. Squash Squash such as butternut and a corn are a great option for people with diabetes as they are high in fiber and can be enjoyed in a variety of dishes. They are relatively low in carbohydrates, making them a great option for managing blood sugar levels. Butternut squash is a good source of potassium, vitamin A, vitamin C, and vitamin E, while acorn squash is a good source of fiber, potassium, vitamin C, and vitamin A. They can also be pureed and used as a base for soups or as a replacement for butter or oil in baking recipes. Squash is also a good source of antioxidants and anti-inflammatory compounds, which may help to reduce the risk of chronic diseases such as heart disease and cancer. It's important to note that while squash is relatively low in calories and high in fiber, they can still affect blood sugar levels when consumed in large amounts. It's important to monitor portion sizes and to consult with a healthcare provider or dietitian before making any major changes to your diet. Overall, squash such as butternut and a corn can be a great addition to the diet for people with diabetes as they are high in fiber and relatively low in carbohydrates. They can be enjoyed in a variety of ways and provide important nutrients and health benefits. Number 1. Avocado Avocado is a great option for people with diabetes as it is high in fiber and healthy fats. It is relatively low in carbohydrates, making it a great option for managing blood sugar levels. Avocados are a good source of monounsaturated fats, potassium, and vitamin K. They also contain small amounts of other essential vitamins and minerals like vitamin E, vitamin C, and folate. Avocados can be enjoyed in a variety of ways such as guacamole, avocado toast, or added to salads, sandwiches, and smoothies. They can also be used as a replacement for butter or mayonnaise in recipes. Eating avocados has been linked to improved heart health, increased satiety, and improved blood sugar control. The healthy fats in avocado can also help to improve cholesterol levels. It's important to note that while avocados are relatively low in carbohydrates and high in fiber, they are high in calories, it's important to monitor portion sizes and to consult with a healthcare provider or dietitian before making any major changes to your diet. Overall, avocados are a great option for people with diabetes as they are high in fiber and healthy fats and can be enjoyed in a variety of ways. They can help to improve heart health, increase satiety, and improve blood sugar control. These are just a few examples of the many high fiber carbs that can be enjoyed by those living with diabetes. Remember to always consult with your doctor or dietitian before making any major changes to your diet. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos on healthy eating and diabetes management.